Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Now, just a reminder today, fellas, uh, if you have a prayer request of any kind, you can let us know that. We have a team here of men who would love to pray for you. It doesn't really matter what the hurt is or the hang up or the healing that you need. These guys are committed and would love to surround you in prayer. So let us know that today. You can leave a comment actually on this devotional, or you can actually leave a note on our prayer wall and our men will find that and pray for you. With that, let's dive into John chapter seven. I'm going to read verses 14 all the way down through 18. Listen to this moment right here. It's crazy cool. About the middle of the feast, Jesus went up to the temple and began to teach. So Jesus kind of secretly makes his way up to the temple. He said he wasn't, but he did. And he's teaching probably around Solomon's colonnade, which is the outer part of the inside of the temple. And there was kind of a covering there from the heat and people loved to teach there. The Jews therefore marveled saying, how is it that this man has learning when he has never studied? So Jesus answered them. He says, my teaching is not mine. But his who sent me, if anyone's will is to do God's will, he will know whether the teaching is from God or whether I'm speaking on my own authority. And the one who speaks on his own authority seeks his own glory. But the one who seeks the glory of him who sent him is true. And in him there is no falsehood. Now, gentlemen, I love this moment. This is a crazy cool moment. What has happened is Jesus has secretly gone up to the Feast of Booze. And once he gets there, he conceals his identity. Yet the crowds of people are actually debating about who Jesus is. Is he a Messiah? Is he just a good teacher? Is he a good man? Who is this guy, right? Now, while they're debating all this, right about the middle of the eight-day feast, might have been day four, he starts teaching on the temple grounds. And so in this moment, he reveals himself. And the audience is essentially mesmerized by his teaching. But they notice something very different about his style. He doesn't teach like all the rest of their other Jewish teachers. And what's different is that Jewish teachers would constantly, incessantly almost, cite other teachers as a show of their education and their development. It was kind of a a move of arrogance, a display of pride. But Jesus doesn't do that. And this was odd because students formerly trained at one of their 30, and they had about 30 of these, 30 local rabbinical schools, was trained to teach that way. They were trained to cite other teachers. But Jesus doesn't do that. He simply cites scripture. So the crowd begins to conclude that he's uneducated. But it's right at this moment, (laughs) Jesus cites his source. His source is God. And with this, he essentially drops the mic on them. (laughs) He declares that they assume that he's uneducated because they don't know his source. They don't know his school and they don't know his teaching style because they don't know God or his word. Thus, he uses their own methodology and teaching practices against them to point out a major flaw in their whole educational system and personal beliefs. Isn't that crazy what he does there? I mean, just think about that for a second. Gentlemen, all the schooling you're ever going to need is right here in God's Word. The Word of God is our source for teaching, reproof, correction, and training in righteousness. That's it. Reading from any other book and any other source is not like reading from the Bible. And that's what we need to be preaching from the pulpit today. From the platform, we need to hear this word right here. This is because the Bible is not an ordinary book. It is the spoken words of God to us. And in it, we find God's will to us and for us. And When we read it and when we hear it and obey it, we will speak it and teach it and live it like Jesus did. So do that today. Search God's word for his will for you. And speak it, teach it, and live it. I love you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, let me know your prayer request. And I'll see you right back here again.